Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. If you've ever had a still camera malfunction during a shoot and now you have to get images out of your video, this tutorial will show you how to do this. This is Fast Photo Save from Video. So shout out goes to Shane Weaver uh, for uh, alerting me to this uh, problem that ha happens with some videographers out there, um, especially if you're dealing with cameras, still cameras working in higher altitudes. They tend to crap out at high altitudes. And uh, if it's something like skydiving, you have a very short window to get all the stills and video and then supply the client with all of those stills and video. So the camera craps out, now you need to get uh, photos out of uh, the video. Now you could just export a bunch of stills, but you would end up with thousands and thousands and thousands, and that's not what you want. You want a quick way to take maybe one photo every second or every five seconds or every 10 seconds and export those out quickly. And I always advise people to export out as TIFF. It's a great quality, but you can also do uh, JPEG. So the first thing we're going to do is create a sequence from the uh, video, the higher quality video, the better stills. If you're shooting in 4K, then these are gonna be good stills. If you're at HD, they're still gonna be Okay. All right, so to get the video into Premiere Pro, just go to your media browser and find that, that clip. I happen to have mine. There it is. Right click and import that in. It's always safer to use the media browser to uh, import in. It's smarter than file import or dragging from your uh, desktop. So here's the clip to make a sequence out of that. I'll drag it over to the right and it shows up and here's the full sequence. And the first thing you wanna do is, is delete the stuff you don't want. So this is uh, something very typical of a setup um, and this isn't needed. We'll wait until there's a shot coming back into Right, so right there, and I'll hit the Q key, and that trims it up. So I've just trimmed the the, um, the beginning. And you can see we've got the video here of the jump. So I'm going to finish trimming right there, and I'll hit the W key. So Q and W are ripple trim to easily trim the stuff out on both sides. It's a lot easier than grabbing the razor blade, clicking on it, deleting and moving it out, Q and W. So now we have our clips. Now what I like to do is change this time code uh, to frames. And if you hold the control key on Windows, command on Mac and click, you'll see this as frames. So I can see that's frame zero. I'll hit the right arrow, two, three, four, five. And if we go all the way to the end of this, you'll see that there are 1,580 frames. That's way too many frames to export out. Now, one thing I, I do wanna show you is, uh, I found a little bit of a bug with GoPro footage changing this here. If you right click, you'll see only frames. Um, typically, this is supposed to allow you to go back to, to time code, uh, simply time code or to frames. If you go to the sequence settings, you'll see down here, once I change it here, now I get all those options. Again, it's just a little bug. So there's our frames. So how do we export out? Well, if you wanna export out just this frame, you can do that with this button right here. You click export frame and you pick a format and you pick where it's going out to. Very simple. But we want to quickly export out, like I said, every five seconds. I don't have time to go through all of this. There's a good chance that every five seconds with something like this, they're gonna be good frames. So we'll speed the video up. Right click on the video, go to speed duration, and I'm going to set my speed at 5,000. Now, if you're on an older version of Premiere Pro, you can't do this. There is a limit of 1,000%. You can now go to 20,000% on the newer version of Premiere Pro. So 5,000%, and don't worry when you see this round up or down, sometimes Premiere Pro will change that number a little bit, don't worry. Click OK, and you'll see it gets very, very short. That's because it was long, now it's faster. The faster it goes, the shorter it gets. Hit the backslash key and we're zoomed in. So now let's look. There's one, two, 
three, four, five, and you can see we're jumping through the frames and we still get lots of great frames. And at the end, we're at 32. So from thousands of frames to 32 frames. Now all you have to do is export this out, Control M, Command M on the Mac, or go to the File menu and choose Export Media. And typically it's on something like H.264, so you can choose JPEG, or you can choose TIFF, and again, it's going to export out a bunch of images of each one of those. And you pick the location simply by clicking on the name. And I've got a folder here for my still test. Click Export. Okay, now let's go to that folder, and there they are right there. So all of the images are ready. Great high quality shots. Now, if you wanted to do this with fewer, let's go back to Premiere Pro. Again, right click and choose speed. And this time choose 10,000. Now, when we go to the end, we can see we've got 16. So same as before, Command-M, Control-M. I'll leave this again as TIFF, the same location, and export that out. Let's go back. There we are. Now we've got 16 frames, and they look slightly different. Still good quality export, and there you go. And if you missed one of these, see how we're missing when he goes up in the air. Let's go back and change the speed to 5,000. And when he zooms all the way up, right? Oh. Let's drag this out a little bit more. I guess I had that chopped off. So if you wanted to, you could take this back to 100% and say that, you know, there is one shot that you wanted to get where he's going up. So we could export that one out as an individual frame also, again, as TIFF or whatever, and I could export that out. I'll go to the same folder. It's going to be a different name. And then maybe a little where he's popping up like that. And we'll get that out, too. So now there's a, a, a few extra frames. Where are they? Oh, they're the first ones there. So that one and that one. So a quick way to, to just take a whole video and export out the frames. You could do this for any video, but it's really important for video videographers who have a short window, an opportunity to get as much footage as possible. And that still camera fails, at least you can now offer stills out of the video. And from 4K, these are gonna look great. So. Thanks again, Shane, for uh, alerting me to this uh, and uh, asking me to create this tutorial. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video and on the front of the channel. You can also go to videoreveal.com. Thanks so much. I appreciate all of your support. And I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to uh, be there when things don't go right for you and show you how you can still make a project work.